hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. In fact, I'm still the voice of hardcore boxing. Because I don't see anybody else asking what I ask. They're all too busy hanging out at the back of people, aren't they? For press passers. Right, here we go. Here we go, a little a little, a little juicy one here for you. Nice juicy one. The reward is still out there, right? From me to anybody who can show me footage or any footage of any one of these four fights, three by knockout, that super head, super heavyweight fighting at Billericay Boxing Club in Essex, Eddie Hills or Edward Hills or Edward John Hills, because he didn't use the name Eddie Hearn, did he? Now there's no history about this, there's no correspondence, it's not in the record books, it's not with British Boxing Border Control Amateur Archives. So what, what we're now looking to do is, we're looking to see if anybody is gonna get into trouble for putting on a fight, four fights with Eddie Hills that never happened. So, all we want to see is some footage. So, all you hardcores out there, there's some homework there for you if you want. Go out and find me footage and I'm going to reward you like you've never been rewarded. Because, I jotted a few things down here. Who were the opponents, right? If Eddie Hills has had a fight against anybody, these four people, who were these opponents? And what these opponents as family there on the night? I mean, Eddie Hearn's friends, who he grew up with, surely went to watch him make his debut. His friends from school, or his friends in the area of Brentwood, or Great Wally, or wherever he, wherever he grew, wherever he grew up. The friends he went to school with. Frank Lampard went to school with Eddie Hearn. He says he was his mate at school. Did Frank Lampard go watch Eddie Hearn's debut, where they were in disguise as Eddie Hills? Where is this footage? Barry Hearn's been involved in sports for over 40 years. They've got footage of Steve Davis in the 70s on their own cameras, but they've got, not got footage of Eddie Hearn, the son of Barry Hearn, the only son, fighting in, the, in, in his amateur career. There's no footage. I've got footage, right? And one of my friends who fought in the 80s at home on one of them old big old camcorder things. So there's no footage whatsoever of Eddie Hearn fighting as Eddie Hills, super heavyweight, 4 0, 3 by knockout. The Iceman, Eddie Hearn. Where is this footage? And why aren't these YouTubers asking him, where's the footage? We want footage. Come on, where is it? To be fair to Coogan, he did ask him, but Eddie just said, well, I'm making it up. He shut it down, didn't he? Look, we want the footage, we want to see how good Eddie is. I mean, Eddie Hill's a 4 and old boxer, he knows what it's like to go in the ring, doesn't he? Where's the footage? Who was the trainer? Was it Freddie King? Was it Jimmy McDonnell? I've been told it was Jim McDonnell, the story that Eddie puts out. So, Jimmy Mack. Jim McDonnell saying it didn't happen. He's saying it didn't happen, so we need the footage. I mean, who were there on the night? Where is this footage? The reward is still there from me, right? So, we need the footage, Eddie. Come on, put us out our misery. Nobody's saying you tell porkies, Eddie, or talk. Nobody's saying that. But we want the footage. All right, so, I mean, it's Fantasy Island stuff, innit? I mean, is Eddie Hearn the Walter Mitty of boxing? That's what this video is going to be called. And I'm on Eddie's case about this, aren't I? But he's the number one boxer, boxing promoter in world boxing. But if you're the number one 
world boxing promoter and you're saying you've got a 4 and 0 amateur record with three of them that you iced we want to see some footage if there's no footage we want to see it in record books so we want to have interviews with people that you fought Eddie that's what we want all right And don't even get me started about Eddie Hearn in that interview saying he played for Essex County under 19s because that didn't happen either. But that's for another day. The Essex County under 19s fast bowler was Eddie Hearn. He was the Bob Willis of the Essex under 19 cricket scene for fast bowling. Good old Bob Willis, Eddie Hearn. But when he played for Essex Under-19 County Cricket Club at Chelmsford, did he use the name Eddie Hills or did he, what he known as Eddie Hearn? Because surely, wouldn't these batsmen want, want, batsmen want to tonk him out of the arena because he's using the name Eddie Hearn? Because isn't that the reason why he called his son Eddie Hills in these four amateur fights? Because he didn't want everything to be against him and he didn't want it to be about the Hearn name. So, answers on a postcard if anybody's got any footage of Eddie Hills, there's four amateur fights, or we might as well go the full hog. Has anybody got any footage of Eddie Hearn playing for Essex Under 19 County Cricket Club? And if you have, have we got any teammates that played with him? Because I heard today that Eddie just turned up for a, for a couple of training sessions with them and actually didn't play. But that his dad were actually sponsoring the cricket and you know he got perks with that. So that's what I heard that Eddie actually trained with them but he didn't play. But he's saying he played for Essex under 19s. Now if he was a squad member or in cricket they call it the 12th man. If he was the 12th man, you know the guy that brings the drinks on when it's a bit hot, you know what batsmen want to break, Eddie brings the drinks on at the home games. If he did that, fair enough, he was a 12th man. But I'm telling you now, Eddie Hearn didn't play for Essex under 19s. Just letting you know, Eddie, do you know how I know that? I rung Essex County Cricket Club up, all right? So answers on the postcard to that one, okay. Walter Mitty. <laughs> And just remember this, you know when you tell a lie, you've got to tell another. Until it becomes massive. Ask Tyson Fury about that. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com, all right? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging, all right? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>